Hello there! Do you want to deploy a Docker image to your server using GitHub Actions? In this video, we will do exactly that. We will first store our Docker image in GitHub's container registry and then automate the build, push and pull processes. In the end, you can push a change to your repository and the application running on your server will be updated automatically. Before starting with this guide, you need a Docker image set up. In case you did not do that yet, click on the link in the description or on the i. So let's go. Before we can upload our image to the container registry, we need to get access to it. For that, we will create a PAT, a personal access token. And to make it a bit easier, use the link in the description. So click on the link, then give the PAT a name, select how long it should be usable, check the permissions and generate the token. Then copy the key and store it somewhere safe. We will need it in the next steps. So first we log into the GitHub container registry on our local device. For that, we store the PAT inside an environment variable sign into the container registry and then build and upload the container image. The name of the image consists of GHCR for the registry, your GitHub username and the image name. We also repeat the login on our server. So we store the PAT inside an environment variable and then sign into the container registry. Now that we stored the image inside the container registry, we can create a docker compose file on our server. In this compose file, we specify our container. So we start with the service name, the container name, the image, and lastly, a port mapping so we can visit the application on our server. Then we build the container by running docker compose up and check if it's reachable. Next, we will create the GitHub action. But before we can do that, we need to create an SSH key to access our server from within the action. And we need to create some variables for the action. But first, the SSH key. Check that the user has access to their directory containing the Docker Compose file and is able to run Docker. In case you use the same user as in the last step, this should be given. Then we create an SSH key using the SSH keygen utility. Then add the public key to the authorized keys file and copy the content of the key file to our clipboard. We then go to the GitHub repository in the browser. There we go to the settings, secrets and variables, actions, and we create the following secrets. SSH private key, that's the content of the private key file that we created in the last step. Then the SSH user, that's the user that should access the server. SSH host, this is the IP of our server the work directory, that's the path where the docker compose file is stored. And lastly, PAT, this is the personal access token to access the container registry. Now that this is done, we can create the actual action. For that, we create a new file inside .github slash workflows and we call it action.yaml. Inside the file, we define the following content. The name of the action, when it is supposed to be executed, some environment variables, so the registry name and the image name. Then we define the jobs. The first one will build and publish the image, so we call it publish. It runs on Ubuntu and uses the checkout action. This action basically clones the repository into the container running the action. We then log into the container registry and build and push the image. 
In the second job, we pull the new version and update the container. We run it after the published job and call it deploy image. We use Ubuntu again. This job consists of three steps. First, we install the SSH key on the container running the action. Then log into our server, pull the image and update the container. And then lastly, we run some cleanup stuff. With that, we finish the action setup. We can now run git add, git commit and git push to let it run. If we now check the action, we can see that it runs through seamlessly. With that, you learned how to create a GitHub action to automatically deploy your application to your own server. If you liked this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or join my Discord and ask me there. Thank you for watching and happy coding.